Hello and welcome back, Gilda Games. We're on episode 20 of The Adventures of Alundra. In the last episode, we just got out of the reptile lair. Alright, in this episode, we're going to be speaking to the fortune teller. So let's go do that. Uh, we're also going to be speaking to the villagers and uh, doing some shopping. Uh, you're still. Uh, you were asked something by Jess. Alright, so that's where we have to be. Uh, Giles suffers from a terrible nightmare. He needs your help. So we got to go to Giles' house. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go down and see Nava. So I'll meet you there. Alright, and we are here. Nava. Well, I must admit, I'm quite astonished that you obtained the second crest. Alright, I will meet you back at the village. Alright, and we are back at the village. Let's uh, do some shopping. Alright, so we need to pick up quite a few items. Yeah, we'll talk to Rumi after we've went somewhere else. Yeah, we're going to be going to Magascar. Alright, so what do we need? We need tonic, uh, some herbs. Let's not put that on her like that though. And the last item. Alright, so we should be... Yep, we are fully equipped. Alright, so let's go to Magascar. Uh, we'll just walk there. Uh, I didn't unlock the portal for it. But, I'm going to show how to get to it. So you want to go west, and then you just want to go straight up. Uh, with the sign there. So Magus Guy is right up here. So this is going to tell us that Magus Guy is indeed over there. So if we... We're going to keep heading up here. I'm going to unlock it after I've come out, but that is where that portal is. We're going to get that soon. Right. I can ignore that sign. Come over here. So the red flags. This is where Magus... This is Magascar. I'm going to talk to everyone. Alright, we'll start with Jess. Uh, Giles, Giles. Uh, do not go that way. Come here instead. Mead, our souls leave here when we are born and return when we here when we die. Uh, we're calling out to Giles' soul to prevent him from crossing over uh, to the blackness of Magascar. Uh, Sierra, Giles, yoo-hoo, it's uh, too early to leave us, you must come back. Uh, Fiend, you can't leave us, Giles. What about Keisha? Uh, you can't leave her, she needs your love. Uh, Lewis, uh, can you hear me, Giles? You're not ready to return your soul to this place. Come back to join us. Okay, so the last villagers that we have to talk to are going to be at Giles' house. But there is one more outside. Alright, so we unlock that. And we're going to go to Inua. So we're going to speak to Cephas before we go to the village. Uh, you are fearless to the point of foolishness, friend. Uh, but I wouldn't want to save. Uh, save. I wouldn't want the savior of our land to be any other way. So there's a bit of a typo there. That's okay though. Uh, we're going to visit Klein's grave as well. Uh, Klein, brave hunter, stinky man. So we're going to go to Giles. I'm going to try to save him. Uh, Rumi, the villagers have gone to Magascar to pray for Giles as a recovery, uh, but will our voices finally be heard there? 
me here. Didn't you learn anything from Klein's death? Uh, entering Giles' nightmare would be madness. You'll kill him, and probably yourself as well. Don't let that foul trickster fool you into entering his world again at Londra. I'm going to quickly show where she's disappeared off to. Yeah, so you just go through that dog, and we just keep up here. Mia, and she is silent. Alright, I'll meet you back at Giles' house. And we are uh, at Giles' house again. Alright, so we're going to go in. Uh, Rumi just says the same thing. I'm going to talk to the mayor. Uh, Bermont, Giles has collapsed. Mia says that he suffers from a nightmare, just like the others. Uh, Septimus, Mia went into Giles' dream, but nothing seemed to happen. Oops, we're not going to do that. Uh, Keisha, I knew that Giles was headed for this dreadful fate, but it's still tearing me apart inside. Giles, he's silent. Keisha, I beg of you, Alendra, please enter my brother's nightmare. Mia says it was too late to do anything, but I want you to try. Uh, I can't just stand here and let him die. Uh, I know you have no reason to help my brother after what he said about you. Uh, but I hope that you find it within your heart to forgive him. You're my last hope, my only hope. Uh, will you try to save him? Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Alendra. May the gods bless your efforts. Septimus, be careful, Alendra. We both know what will happen if Giles dies while you're in his dream. Well then, are you ready to enter Giles' nightmare, Alendra? Yep. Let's say yes there. Giles's dream. Okay, so the thing with this dream, uh, we want to move this block. I'm going to show that in a sec. The thing with this dream, it's to do with uh, deceiving you. Anyways, so we come down here. This is where you think you might have to go. We're going to try. So yeah, you have to take force damage to get over that bit, but don't worry, it's very minimal. We have to deal with these things. Wait for this one to spawn. So the best way to deal with them is a charged shot. Gets rid of them in one hit. Uh, we're going to equip the herbs. And we're going to come over here. So you're going to come over to this bit and you're going to try to jump across there, but it's going to be impossible. Uh, you can't really make it. I mean, it's, it might be possible, but I'm not going to attempt it. Uh, there's chests all over the place as well, uh, inside them. Might as well just use your herbs because, you guessed it, there is just a whole bunch of herbs. This one up there is also a herb. Might as well just use them. Alright, so, uh, when you're in this room, you just want to leave. So just ignore this room. Uh, take the force damage. I'm going to ignore that shadow go up these steps instead. So where you actually want to go is in here. Charge up a sword. Maybe double on that one. So we get these two. Get also get a bomb ready. Hopefully we can kill all of these guys. We want to keep that on the bomb. Probably the most effective weapon against these guys will probably be the bomb. Ooh. So they're a new type of enemy we've not seen before. Uh, when they die, they kind of explode into those four kind of mines, so watch out for those. These guys. Alright. Last one. Mm, he's just going to take his time. It's fine. Yeah, these type of enemies, they're not really fun to deal with because you kind of have to wait until they decide they want to come out. So you want to equip the bow here. It's a pretty good reason because this is a mimic. Just get that against the wall and we're going to get ones. So we're just going to kill this thing outright. It's a waste of time. Alright, we got the button. So you're going to find when you do something correct, the uh, nightmare or the dream, it's going to try to defend itself. So this bit, the devs, uh, yeah, you can walk along here. This is to do with uh, your perspective where you're sort of seeing it. So get rid of the slime. 
come over here and jump on that jar, jump over there and onto that button. So as well these arrows, once you're on them, uh, you can't move. So a bit like uh, Klein's dream. Okay, don't see if we get any money, anything, health, and we do not. Uh, just hit that. Well, you, uh, no, you just push these. You charge up our weapon, get that ready. Alright, it's just going to spawn here. Alright, we're going to ignore that. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show what's down here. Uh, okay, so this is that trap room I was telling you about. So don't go down there. Instead, you just want to go back up here. So, yeah, the, the dream will try to trick you into thinking that you've got to go down there. And if you drop down here, you'll be in that trap area. Right. So you're going to push that and push that over there. There's nothing down there, so don't worry. Nothing useful anyways. Just go in there. And we're going to be at this bit. So, there is a save point. I'm going to go on that in a second. Show you something here. Now you can hit that. And jump on that rock. And you can get to this. So, in each of these chests, I think, is just herbs. Uh, I'm going to jump down here as well. So, what you want to do, just kind of dash over here. Uh, hit that. And yeah, you want to go on that teleport. So that's how you get out of those bits. And I'll show this one as well, just because it's pretty much just the opposite of whatever the other one is. Alright. So don't worry if you fall down there. Make sure to hug the bottom bit so that you don't uh, get hit by the spike balls. But we're going to rest up. We're going to save the game. I think this is a good point to end here. save it on this top one. Alright, we can go the games, thanks for watching and goodbye.